This is no ordinary bog. This is a super bog, and it's going to earn its keep. The Wildlife Trust is farming it for carbon. We're essentially growing a permanent cover crop of sphagnum mosses for the purposes of protecting and storing carbon in the peat soils. So the product of this carbon farm is essentially the carbon that we are protecting in these peat soils here and sequestering in the longer term from the atmosphere. It's the first project of its kind in the UK. The idea is to make restored peat pay for itself. As it sucks up CO2 from the atmosphere, the government and private businesses will pay to keep that carbon in the ground. So wetlands are naturally waterlogged, nutrient-poor, acidic places. And it takes very specialised plants, such as sphagnum moss, which I'm holding here, um, to grow and thrive in these conditions. As it grows, the bottom layer um, decays but doesn't decompose properly. So then all the carbon that is sucked out of the atmosphere is locked into the peaty soils for millennia. This plant, sphagnum, is capable of holding 20 times its own weight in water, which you can tell when you squeeze it like this. And it's what helps keep this peatland really nice and wet. But in the UK, we've drained loads of our wetlands and peatlands. In fact, here in the northwest, there's no healthy lowland peat left. And all of that drained peatland is contributing massively to our greenhouse gas emissions in the UK. In fact, the carbon emissions from drained peatland make up 6% of our total greenhouse gas emissions. That's the same as aviation. Dr Chris Field and his team have been measuring how much CO2 the bog has sucked up since the project began four years ago. We're still losing carbon a little bit, uh, but we're only losing something like two tonnes. Uh, so we've mitigated or reduced those emissions by sort of 90 to 95 per cent. Normal bogs wouldn't necessarily work as carbon farms, so the team have modified this one. Our rationale for this experiment or this pilot was to densely plant sphagnum moss because we, th we think that bogs that are, have more sphagnum moss on them store more carbon. But actually, it is economically beneficial for farmers in that situation to maybe think about sort of uh, changing the land use to either restoration or carbon farming, as we call this, uh, because the, the, the potential to earn money from carbon offsetting income is, is there. And actually, I think it's more probably uh, more lucrative than, than grazing animals. But four years ago, this swamp was working farmland, and lots of our agricultural peat is used to grow food. The Wildlife Trust doesn't think that all peatland should be turned back into bogs, but finding that balance is something the Farmers' Union is worried about. There are just so many challenges on around land use at the moment. There's the opportunities around energy. We hear about carbon storage, tree planting strategies. We've got to get biodiversity recovery right. The government wants to deliver clean air, clean water. Uh, all of these challenges are there. And at the moment, the budget to deliver all of these environmental outcomes simply doesn't exist. But getting swamped down in the finer details is still some way off. This superbug still needs to prove it can pay its way before farmers will be reassured they can give over any of their land to restoration.